Hey guys, if you could subscribe to our channel and like our videos, that would be a big help to what we do on a daily basis. Uh, in this uh, episode, if you want to call it that, um, I want to talk about WWE trading cards. I don't know if a lot of people know these are out there because I know a lot of people that collect WWE action figures never really talk about these, so I was sort of curious. Um, they always have them for sale on the WWE website in the WWE shop. Uh, they also have them for sale always at um, Target, usually in the front of the store where like the Pokemon cards are. They're usually uh, in that area. They're made, I believe, by Tops, as far as I know, which is popular for making other trading cards. And uh, I've been buying them for a while. They're pretty cool. I uh, wanted to explain a little bit of some of the differences. Hopefully I don't butcher this because it's a topic that I'm not really super familiar on, even though I've been collecting these for a while. Um, so if I'd put a quick video uh, throwing it out there, because I was curious if uh, other people collect these too. Uh, like I said, I haven't really seen many videos on them or really any at all so far. <clears throat> so I'm going to explain some of the differences of the different types as far as I know. Um, I know right now I think there's a Raw. Um, they're making Raw cards for Monday at Raw. They're making, I think, uh, sometimes they have made SmackDown ones in the past, but I don't know if they're making those right now. They did a SummerSlam ones. I think they might make WrestleMania ones, but I know the SummerSlam and the, the Raw ones are, I think, the ones that are popular right now. And they also, I think, in 2017 made NXT cards. I have a few of those, but I don't know if they stop making those. I'm not, to be honest, I'm not really quite sure. Um, the WB cards are sold in like either like bigger size packs or smaller size packs. And on the WWE uh, web store, you have the option, I think, buy like a box as a set. Now, I don't know if you buy the box set if that actually is all different cards in the actual series or if it's just like more cards. Um, I don't really understand how it works in terms of if they only make certain ones or certain ones are harder to find than others. It does seem, I just am saying statistics here, off the different ones that I have, there are certain ones that seem to pop up twice and certain ones that seem to be harder to find. Um, I don't know if that's the case for all of them, if they printed less or more, or how that works exactly. Um, so some of the ones I have here, like this is one of the NXT cards, this is a Bobby Roode card. Uh, I believe this was from, uh, it looks like 2017, which is I think when they started making the NXT cards. Uh, obviously, Bobby Roode's on the main roster now, so this is older. Um, <clears throat> and this one was sort of a card that was like a featured card that came in a pack for buying an R pack or something. Uh, some other cool ones we have here. Uh, like I said, some of them seem more or less common. So from the SummerSlam ones, which I believe were actually sold this summer, I think that's when I got some of these. Um, so we have like, we have like Bray Wyatt. Uh, and these are the actual... The ones I'm showing you right now out of this uh, this deck right here, these are the individual cards for individual wrestlers. So it has them, and this is like their official card for that specific set. So there'll be like a Bray Wyatt SummerSlam one, a Bray Wyatt one for, you know, uh, WrestleMania or whatever um, of each person for each sort of series they do. <clears throat> now, I don't know if um, everyone has a card for each series. I'm not quite sure how that works. But these are the actual ones of individual wrestlers. So in that regard, sort of like a baseball card. Now, the other ones they do are different in that they are of specific events. So we have like Nia Jax versus Ronda Rousey. We have uh, Kurt Angle defeating Brock Lesnar from when that happened. And our one is Macho Man marrying Miss Elizabeth. So these are of specific events. I'm going to be honest, the majority, as you can see, the majority of the ones that you're going to get in any pack are going to probably be these. They're going to be the ones of events that have happened in WWE. Uh, now, the smaller percentage, I don't know however many, if there's going to be a handful in each deck of these individual ones of individual wrestlers. So these are definitely harder to find than the ones of the events that happen in WWE, you know, people winning championships, uh, someone uh, doing a specific move, whatever it might be. Um, there are some super cool ones, though, in the individual wrestler ones. I thought one of the coolest ones was... Uh, uh, trying to find it. Uh, is, if I can find it, I don't know if I can. Ah, uh, yes. This, like, old-school Jeff Hardy one. It's pretty sick. So, like I said, these will sort of be thrown into the, ra the packs randomly, and you'll find them. You're like, oh, cool, okay. Um... Tomasa Siampa is the NXT one that they're one of the NXT ones I have. The NXT ones I really don't have many of. Uh, I don't really know if they're hard to find or if they sort of get mixed in here. I don't quite really, uh, you know, understand how that works. The Sting one's pretty cool. So yeah, so it's sort of, sort of uh, random. Like I said, I'm gonna try to eventually get a uh, 
card book to organize these, like a baseball card. I know we used to have some trading card stores uh, around Orange County. I don't, I really don't know if we still do or not. Um, but yeah, pretty straightforward video. WB trading cards, sort of a quick overview, at least from, from what I know from, from my own experience of collecting them and learning a little bit about them. So hopefully you guys found that video informative and yeah, pretty straightforward. God bless guys. Have an awesome night.